Well, this 2010 Corvette Grand Sport only has about 49,000 miles on it, so it's a little unusual. Um, the LS3 is, you know, by all accounts, a, a pretty solid, stout, durable engine. Um, but I seem to be, it, it just in my opinion, I seem to hear sort of like a little tick from this side. And I know that lifter failure is a, a problem, but not necessarily on the LS3. Um, I'm hoping that's all it is, if it is in fact an engine, or is in fact a problem with the engine. Um, it may not be an issue at all. I might just be hearing things or thinking that I'm hearing something when I'm actually not. I know some people say this engine is like a, a Singer uh, sewing machine, people have called it. So I guess the only thing I can do from this end is to try to diagnose it without going crazy. So I'm going to take the uh, the engine cover off and the valve cover and just see. I'm hearing it from the back passenger location. So I'm going to take that off and see if I can see anything or feel anything that's loose. Uh, the rocker arm or something that's so loose in there. And um, I guess we'll go from there. I didn't know the factory springs were yellow. Correct me if I'm wrong, I didn't know that. I haven't seen any that I know of that were yellow. I'm just looking to see if I see anything weird. I haven't touched them yet. This is the one I think is coming from one of these two, honestly. If I am indeed hearing something. Um, but it looks like oil has reached all of them. The car sat for a couple of days. But I'm gonna, let's, let's see. Start on this end. Tight, nothing, tight, nothing. Oh, see there's a little play in that one. Not in that one, slight play in that one. Little play in that one. None. Little. Little. But there's quite a bit in that one. So maybe it's not the maybe it's not the lifter. Maybe. Okay. That was definitely very interesting. Uh, the valve train sounded really quiet, actually, even from being opened up. And as I had this open, the sound, the noise, the ticking noise was more in this region. Um, it actually kind of sounded more like a, a pulley or belt chirping, like it might be an alternator or maybe it's the tensioner pulley down here or something. Um, so that makes me feel better, but let me know in the comments below. I don't think yellow is the factory valve spring color so maybe someone at one point had 
had repaired this, there did seem to be a little bit of movement in some of the rocker arms. Some are just a tiny touch loose, so uh, I don't like that, but I don't know. I don't know if that's a big problem now, especially if we're going to be doing a cam and springs, but I'm gonna send this to the guy I've been working with and see if he even thinks now that springs are necessary. But again, let me know in the comments below. I'm just, I'm not super up on the uh, upgrades uh, availability for the LS, particularly the LS3. Just inspecting the valve cover gasket a little bit too, just to make sure that's not crushed or kinked in any location. Make sure it's still nice and moist looking. Should haven't, shouldn't have any problem reusing it. I'm just gonna wipe it down a little bit. I'm gonna clean up the valve cover itself too, and also clean up the surface, the mating surface for where the gasket goes around the cylinder head. I believe torque specs on the valve cover gasket is like 106 inch pounds from what I'm seeing. Using my calibrated elbow, working from the center out. So just keep an eye on it, make sure. We didn't have any leaks before, which is good. removed the valve cover from the Corvette for my very first time. That was very exciting. Also exciting to see that it doesn't look like we have a collapsed lifter. Uh, valve train looked relatively healthy and may even have aftermarket springs. Again, rely on you guys to let me know in the comments section below. I'm gonna send some pictures to the guys gonna be working on this car doing the installation for the cam and uh, we'll see what's going on. Well, I'm feeling much, much better now. It's a little bit demotivating actually after picking up the car and thinking that there's potentially a, a major issue with it. But uh, for now, I'm thinking we're in a pretty decent spot. Again, I'm gonna send the information, send some pictures and video over to the guy that's going to be doing the cam install and uh, seeing what sort of advice he might have to make a plan of action to move forward. Um, but for now, feeling better and ready to pursue some uh, the next projects with this Corvette. I want to do some major engine bay cleanup, maybe some dress up, but we got to do a full paint correction on this thing, get it protected and sealed up nicely. Clean up the wheels, uh, brakes, tires. Oh my gosh, I, 
there's there's a list of things that need to be addressed on this car so i'm excited to move forward and let you guys kind of uh, know what's going on what some of the plans are and uh just just move forward with this project it's going to be fun we got some more stuff going on for the channel as well if you're new here so uh, subscribe you might not want to miss out might be some things of interest for you so uh, looking forward to it. it's going to be a, a nice fall and, and fun winter project so thanks for watching stick around see you in the next